hey guys welcome to my channel my name is primrose and you know the drill we are back with another witch reacts video and today i am going to be reacting to witch talk our favorite our most controversial platform also this lighting is making me look especially spooky and i do not hate it so on today's agenda we are going to be reacting to witch talk but in particular which familiars now i don't have a familiar i have this weird thing with cats and i think i've mentioned it before in one of my other videos where i'll be looking at them and they'll be looking back and i'm like is this a side quest this is a message like cats give you that look with their beady eyes and they're up to something they're bloody up to something but alas i do not have one of my own so i do not have a familiar but i am an avid animal lover. My degree was in animal care. So I know a little thing about animals. I'm just here for cute animal videos today. So let's just jump straight in. Going in completely blind. Let's go. Oh the vibes. The first. The first one is my spirit animal. Primrose Doe. Nearby where I live, we have a like um, a national park thing where you can walk and stuff, and it's a deer park, and I love going there. And they have albino deer too, and it's just it's it's so nice. Like you can't go up and feed any of them or anything like that, but you can watch them, and I just feel like I could stare into their eyes forever. I don't I don't know why. I feel like I kind of share the same sort of personality in a way. There's something there's something there that I'm just like. Hello, universe. I know I don't ask for much, but I really could use some guidance. Do you think you could send me a familiar? Any kind. Any kind will do. A monkey? Cat? I'll take what I can get. Imagine a monkey. Thank you. Hello. I am a symbol from the universe, and I came to- You an ant! Oh! God, literally, I could see myself doing something like that. Like <laughs> needing a sign, but if it's not the right sign, you don't want to know. <laughs> this is why the universe hates us, witches. <laughs> what the fuck is that fucking thing? What the fuck? Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Scary. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Yo, I'ma check his vibe. What are you? Yeah, what are you? Bad vibe. That was cute. What is that? What is that? That was one fancy snake, and don't you dare say otherwise. He was a delight. <laughs> Would I be upset if a cute witch turned me into a raven so I could be her familiar? No, I wouldn't be upset at all. I would get to collect shiny things and herbs and flowers with her and it would be very fun. Nice, a good strong patch just here. Come, come, we can be like a double team. There's no way that's a fucking turn. He know he's secretly Master Uguwe. That's who he is. Gonna have to mute this sound, but it's a fucking vibe, so watch it down in the comments, the real video, and vibe along with me. Oh, same person. video clearly likes the tortoise familiar <laughs> this sun fox is the 11th in my series of witches familiars folk stories say the sun foxes originated from the sun's teardrops that fell into consciousness on their way down to earth whether or not this is true sun foxes have unusually high body temperatures making them ideal companions for those who live in cold climates or have circulatory issues they also have adorable sneezes making them ideal companions for just about everyone 
Highly energetic, a sun fox will need plenty of room to roam and explore, perhaps looking for their way back to the sun, but will always return home to you. If you decide to explore alongside your sun fox, you'll find they have an excellent sense of direction and a keen nose for adventure and for snacks. Beautiful, that's so beautiful. I don't know if any of that's true or not, but I, don't, I kind of don't care. It's true in my mind, so that's enough for me. <laughs> that's so beautiful, I love that. If this abandoned tarot card building does not scream witchcraft, I don't know what does. It's literally covered in birds that won't leave no matter how close you get to them. Is, is this my home? Is, it, is this my, is, is, is this for me? Is this mine? Should, should, I, should I go? Should we do that? <laughs> Bookies, bookies, bookie. This crow is the seventh in my series of witches familiars. With a keen eye in mind, this is the perfect companion for anyone with memory problems or just a lot on their plate. They're extremely helpful in gathering hard to find ingredients for potions, spells, and old secret family recipes. They'll also bring you the occasional worm because crow loves worm, so you will love worm too, right? We love worm here. Just to so say you know, if, if you don't know, we love worm here. In addition to being able to remember long lists of ingredients, they'll remember whether or not you've taken your medication today and help you remember too. In the event that you find yourself lost deep in the woods while collecting mushrooms and the sun is setting and it's getting colder and the bears are coming out to snack, your crow familiar will come find you and lead you safely home. I literally love this series. I'm gonna go follow this person on TikTok right now because oh my God, the storytelling, the art, like I love that. Also, I really need a crow familiar because <laughs> Mental health, forgetfulness, ADHD, possibly autistic. <laughs> you know how it is. I love that person's voice too. It's so soothing. It's a perfect narrating voice. Today I'm going to give you some tips for befriending your local This is my chance! <laughs> local, crow. local crows or other corvid species. This relationship can be very special if you stick to it for a few months. Yes, they bring you shiny things. Yes, you will be able to pet them. But here are some tips that you really have to be consistent with. One, make sure you bring them good treats that are nutritious. Just look up online for Corvid friendly treats. I... Two, make sure you set up a schedule. Come the same day, this- Bro, I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> if anyone knows me, I can't keep to schedule or time frames. I just have too much going on up in here, so that means I don't get to have crow familiar. Same time, and they'll start anticipating you. Three, mirror their movements. Do not. <laughs> Why is that the first thing that comes to mind? <laughs> Do not chase after them or pursue them, you will scare them away but eventually you should be able to get up close and personal with any wild animal. Now remember, I used rice cake and wash those hands. Washing hands is good. often gets very like mismatched is people think that just because it's your pet it's also your familiar and I don't see it like that at all like I don't know how many other witches see it like that but I definitely don't because some pets there's like nothing much going on upstairs if you know what I mean like they just sort of look at you and there's no real connection there whereas some you have like an, an instant connection like a you make the eye contact and you you have that it's like a piece of string from you to them and it's different. It's like a different kind of relationship. So I don't. I don't know. I, that's that's my personal belief anyway. That's what I think. Take it with a pinch of salt, or not. I don't like that. I don't like that sound. I don't like that sound at all. And it's also like that, it's not white noise, it's been like trending so much at the minute. And it's just like a basic noise, but it's too much for my brain. Like that people say that it's, it's like gray noise. People say that it's supposed to be good for like ADHD brains, but 
for me, I just, I do not, I can't, I cannot deal. It's just too much. I get enough noise as it is. <laughs> so I'm hanging out on the couch. My floors are super dirty. And I just realized, yes, what? Ooh, yes, there's a stain, but what is that? Yes, there's also a bunch of flowers on the floor because witchcraft, but I was just asking my cat if she had any extra whiskers and she pulled through. Like, imagine, imagine the level of witchcraft. I found in the charity shop the other week this book and it's like, um, witchcraft for cats. The woman <laughs> that I was buying it from, like the person in the shop, she was like, oh, I think my cats could do with this. Like, saying they're naughty and stuff. And I was just like, yeah, ha, ha, ha. Like me, who doesn't have cats, who's also a witch, buying a book that's clearly about witchcraft for cats and she thought it was some sort of like joke book or something. <laughs> It was so orcs, it was so orcs, but yeah, it's, it's a good book, it's a good book. This is my familiar, palette. I had her for 19 years. She passed away six years ago. Her birthday was Halloween. This is a Samhain altar dedicated to her, very similar to an ancestor altar. I included her ashes, her photo, and some of her favorite things. She may not be with me in physical form, but she's always with me in my heart. I think altars are such beautiful things and that was so nice, like such a lovely tribute to, I think she was called her pellets, I think that's, that's, that's so nice. On my altar I, I have, um, have a heart with paw prints on it and it's for my old dog Shay, it's got some of his ashes in and also some of his fur as well and it's just a really really nice keepsake and I always keep that on my altar for him to feel close. This lunar moth is the sixth in my series of witches familiars. Their wings will always reflect the current phase of the moon, and they are excellent little timekeepers, much more reliable than a watch or phone. On rainy nights, they like to stay indoors and snuggle close, particularly if you have long hair they can nest in. Sometimes, when the stars are very bright and the moon is very full, they enjoy a small droplet of white wine and will sing sad songs to the moon. Is this me? Is, is this me? Am I this? <laughs> Otherwise, they tend to enjoy late nights, hot cups of coffee, and the occasional true crime podcast, and are excellent companions for mystery seekers. I love all of these. I love the stories that go along with them so freaking much. Honestly, I just... so good. The fourth in my series of witches familiars is a little slug wearing a crown. They look like a regular slug, just a little more glamorous. Their ooze makes an excellent healing ointment for burns, cuts, scrapes, and other injuries. Okay, so it's definitely made up, but it's the cutest freaking thing! I love it so much! <laughs> Sometimes it also forms interesting and beautiful designs. These tend to make everyone around them just a little bit happier. Other than that, they're not good for a whole lot magically, but they're real sweeties and will love you with the whole of their little slug hearts. I love it. I love it so much. amazing freaking best video on tiktok what the hell <laughs> i love that so much literally when me and my sister was a kid we used to collect snails mainly my influence because i freaking love snails man and we create well, like we collected loads of them and then we created like a snail fun fair or you don't know, think like spooky island from a scooby-doo we created like a whole like Fair carnival thing for snails. It was the best fucking thing ever. Honestly, the innovation, mwah, stunning, fabulous, and I just, I, I love snails. Hey friends, I'm outside building my fort and Tesla right here, Tesla. Yeah, Tesla, she brought me this. Look at this, it's part of a buck. I wonder if she's the culprit who brought the other skull. Holy hell, she brought a whole freaking skull? Jeez, that's crazy. Cool though, like to preserve that, amazing. And that's it, that's our video. I love seeing some of those, they were so uplifting and just made me feel all happy inside. You know, you can always count on animals to come through. Oh, that was good. That was a really good one. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed joining me here and chilling and watching some Witch Familiar videos. Let me know down in the comments if you guys have a familiar. I would love to hear all about them. Tell me everything. I want all of the tea. <laughs> and that's it for today. So thank you so much for joining me here. I cannot wait to see you in my next video. And I will see you guys 
Later. Bye.